Uh, all right, let's talk about somebody else who's definitely in the right line of work. It's our producer, Betsy Moline. She's often very busy keeping us updated on the world of The Bachelor, but she's a multifaceted human being. She, If she's not doing that, she's doing her makeup she's all the time. She's doing her makeup all the time and always fielding and getting advice and giving out advice, and that's why we have Betsy test out the strangest beauty hacks from across the Internet to see if they're worth your time. So she's here to tell us which ones are boosts and which ones are busts yeah. in this edition of Betsy's Beauty Basics? This is when oh. Betsy gets Instagram messages from yes. me in the middle of the night if I've woken up to let the it's dog out, and then <laughs> I am scrolling through, and then I send her things, and I'm like, you don't have to reply to this right now, but I would just like, you to test this out, please. Yeah, if you were to look at me in Elizabeth's DMs, it's these videos, <laughs> that's about it. So that is it, okay. We get to try them all out today. It's I know. very exciting. It's really fun. This one, this first one, though, I think is really helpful because a lot of us like multi-use right. products. So you're using lipstick as blush. Yeah, so I have done something like this before, but I tried to follow this girl exactly and how <gasps> she did this. Oh, this is too much. Aggressive. And so th she's putting it on as like underpainting and then painting her makeup over it. And you can see with her, it takes a lot to kind of get it back to looking normal yeah. before. And so I was curious about this one because I do like using, you know, lipstick as blush, seeing if that'll work. But I tried this at home and this was a complete fail for me. No. Complete fail. I mean, I was so frustrated with this. Obviously, <laughs> like, that color is not meant to blend into my skin tone. And I picked kind of a cooler toned red. Which <laughs> that, <laughs> as This was, this was... Truly, probably 10 minutes of this. Oh, my god! I'm just gosh. trying to get this to look normal. And because I picked kind of a more purpley shade, by the time I had put my foundation over it like she did, I looked purple. And I you looked had like so, a grape. Did you have so much makeup on, too? And I felt like I just makeup. kept putting more and more makeup on. I, <laughs> I, was, I was doing this. I asked my boyfriend. I was like, do I have to start over and do the rest of these hacks on a new face? And he was like, yeah. yeah. You I'm kind of wondering though, what's the point? Why would you? Why would you want an under base of like red? We're looking or, really red, right? Is it to make the blush subtle? Is that the point? It's supposed to kind of make it look like it's lit from within. It's coming from inside, very uh. natural. But there are better ways to do this. I have the. This is just a stick blush here from Westman Atelier, but uh, a lot of brands have stick that's blushes. That's my now. favorite, you know. I know. I. Why do you think I brought it? <laughs> um, and these are just a lot easier. These are meant to be blushes. They'll blend a lot easier, and they'll go on top of your foundation, which is really nice. Yeah. So just do that. You don't need to waste your time with this. Even the girl in that video, I found her original post of it, and she was like, this made my routine longer. I don't think I'll do it again. Because it just, you're spending more time. Yeah. Well, it isn't lipstick designed to not smear. Right. You want it right. to stay in one place. So yeah, it just felt like I was working against <laughs> yeah, what the product exactly. was supposed to be doing. I never thought about that. That's Look at Ben Lieber with the makeup yes. knowledge. Well, I'm like, yeah, everybody talks about, like, is it on my teeth? Like, you don't right. want it to smudge. You're like, it's supposed to stay in place. You're right. You want it there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this next one. So yes, bust. Bust involves using a fork for your nose contour. Yeah, so I am always looking for new ways to contour my nose because it's the one thing in my routine I don't really have a good grasp on. And so this girl's like, oh, just use a fork. It'll get really super straight lines, and then you can blend it from there. Oh, so you do the whitish, like the okay. highlighter down the center. I feel like that makes sense. Right. It, it, you look at it, and you're like, I could do that. Yeah. And listen, I did try this one as well as home. I don't know if it's just my fork. My tines were too small. I could not get my brush to go in the tines. You have tiny tines. I, <laughs> tiny tines. And that's, that was people my People have been telling that for, for years. <laughs> for years. I always people back people to people elementary school. school. My tiny tines, oh, like, Betsy and her tiny tines. <laughs> but you can see here. And also, it left little imprints on my forehead. I had like little four dots you on my forehead. probably did it too hard. I was trying to get the brush in there <laughs> through the tiny tines. Don't do it so hard. <laughs> it was a mess. I did not recommend this either. So the I better just, thing is to just draw the lines yourself. You if can you just draw do. the lines yourself. And two, no one's nose is perfectly straight, right? So you want to be able to kind of work with your actual anatomy. And yeah. You're not going to be fork nose, you know? Okay. okay. <laughs> so that I, one, I would suggest painter's tape, but you know. Okay, <laughs> bust, bust, will the broccoli be a boost? Okay, so broccoli as freckles. So this went super viral a couple months ago, and everyone was trying this. This is the one I said. Yeah, here. basically, you just have a dark color, essentially, like a brown, and then you stamp the little broccoli in and use it as freckles. Do you guys want to try? Yeah. Okay, I, I have do your it on my stamp hand. Sure. No, you can do it on my hand. Oh, on your hand. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. See how good that works, actually? It's like Pippi Longstocking. Right. I actually really liked this. I was like, I really wanted to hate this because I was like, this is very stupid. It does stupid. work, but that's a lot of freckles. You but want that really many works. freckles? I mean, I, here's the thing is the other way that I do freckles is with an individual freckle pen, and that means you're doing every single one, and that gets so tedious that I did this, and I was like... 
hey, faster, quicker, looks really natural. I kind of liked it. Listen, you know my nine-year-old Bernie has the most sweet, natural freckles. Oh, and sometimes she gets like a little embarrassed by them. Like, yeah. why do I have these freckles? And yeah, nobody else yeah. does. And I'm going to show her this and be like, people are people using are produce. People are dying freckles. Yeah. Trying to get freckles. <laughs> isn't like have. Alfred E. Newman, isn't he like famous for his freckles? Like the, you know, the Mad the Mad Magazine kid? I don't know who that what, is. Well, well, I don't know. Why, why do you want that many freckles? That's a beauty thing? I think it's cute. It looks like a little more tan and sun-kissed. I will say... I bought this broccoli on Saturday, and it did work better on Saturday. It's wilted a little bit now. So get fresh so broccoli. So the fresher the broccoli, the better it'll okay. go for and even, you. Even better, <laughs> get organic, yeah, non-GMO. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Please go to the farmer's market for your this broccoli. This makes me very happy. Okay, so we've got a boost, which is fantastic. Yes, good broccoli. And I mean... I Take would say it. do it. Don't and eat then it after. Lastly, yeah, don't eat it. we have an eyeliner hack here. So I, this woman says it's the over 40 way and the old way. I think whatever your age, it doesn't matter. These are just two different ways to think about eyeliner. I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> but she talks about most people put eyeliner on top of their eyes and their lash line. Yeah. And you should be putting it under your eyelashes oh. and to fill out your no. lashes. You know, Betsy, as a person in the over 40 crowd, yes. I appreciate your diplomacy here, but I Thank will you. say that when you do hit over 40 and you start and you do that thick layer of eyeliner right. over your eyes, it does age you. It, it starts can, to happen. Really, So you can see the difference there in the two eyes, but for me, I always, when I put on eyeliner, put it in the lash line yeah. in addition to putting it on top. So for me, I was like, just putting in the lash line is too subtle for me. I prefer a lot of eyeliner, obviously. But um, but you still you, do a thin line on the top, yeah, like yeah. especially on the inside. The problem, I think, is a lot of people are using crayons for their eyeliner, which is thick. You know, that's going to be a pretty thick line regardless of how where you're putting it. But if you get like a liquid liner like this one, you can get tiny oh, little thin lines. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. just yeah. way thinner, way more precise. That's exactly how I prefer my that. writing pens more like that. <laughs> yes, yes. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. I don't want the big thick line. I'm I don't with want you. That okay, line. is it a beauty bust or a beauty This boost? is a boost. I say, you know what? Play around with your eyes how you like it, but I think that if you didn't know to put it under your lashes, do it. It's a boost. I the, love these The segments. things, the risks you ladies take. I know. I know. Because if I have to work that closely in my eye, I'm poking my eye at some point oh, in time. Oh, we've all done it. Tell you, but not nah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Betsy, Thank and you. your tiny times. <laughs> All right, you can keep. I can't believe she's overcome that. Really, a lot of therapy. You can keep up with her on Instagram. It's at Betsy Moline. Send her your hacks you want her to try next. Even in the middle of the night, she'll accept the DM. Okay, coming up.